Hey y'all, I'm just thinking about my shades. I just took off my hat. Now I got the sun in my eyes. But y'all, I said I was going to stop complaining. I can't even see. I was going to stop complaining about my job. Why are you worried about me? Why is you over here? No, what are you doing over here? Why, what, what, did y'all, yo, block, boy, you look like, what? What you doing up here? What do you want? Nothing, what you doing up here? Don't Get away me. from me. Stop, ain't nothing in here, move. And why did you eat them toaster strudels? I ain't no toaster strudels. Man, that was Journey, mama. Well, trying, you ate them, move. Mama, look, so we were trying I'm to figure out who they is, right? So Journey gonna sit there and ask me that, she asked a question, right? So then she gonna stay in the kitchen. Till I, I'm like, bro, why is she still in the Where they going? They finna uh, go to Rod House. Stop that line. We finna go to Rod and House. And Roderick and Masai, y'all didn't have to speak. Hey. Y'all expect my money. Y'all expect my money. I'm way over here. What is this boy doing over here? Then I just seen Journey when I turned in the parking lot. These kids, boy, they just do what they want to do. Do you hear me? And the thing is, what's up? Since you ain't now about nobody ain't speak. We see that's well, sure right. Why you got on the coat? Alright though, Mom. I can't get no water though. It's kinda hot. Yeah, and the water hot. Ah, oh, that bitch cold. That is not cold. Gee, cold, one thing. Oh Lord, kids get on there. Get Masai, how you gonna talk about you hiding? You got on a a, a thick well, jacket. What right. It was like it was like they they made me walk. Yeah, but Smacky. with the jacket on, I ain't have no shirt. All my shirts been worn. Let's not shut up, Masai. I just asked you if you want one. It's hot. Man, see, these cold. Yeah, these cold. These cold. You know what I'm saying? What else? I was trying to jump that. It's not funny. Out. It's all right. It's all right. You ain't got to jump the fence. He was right. in a red breed. He said, yeah. He can't even jump a gate. Oh, me, Mom. It's okay. Mom. I can't either. Mine was a little baby gate. Mine was this little baby gate like somewhere over there, right? Damn, like, you can't there. jump a baby gate, Roger? Little baby gate. We were telling him to jump down. We had demonstrated and everything. We jumped down by ourselves. He over there. He's screaming. Like, he can't so I pulled him out. I had to pull him off. That wasn't no baby gate. Move. 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 Let's get that That's one, not that funny. That wasn't no baby gate. It's okay, Roddy. That was not no. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> so, all right, though, Mom. Love you. Right. Love you, too, bye. All right. I well, love y'all, bye. Love you, too. But... What I was talking about, yo. Work. No, this this is a different different thing. Boy, get away, bye. It don't you see four other things on there? And don't y'all throw them bottles in them folks yard now. That's the thing. Work harder than being a mama. I I would never think nothing. It, this being a mama, I I know it's a hard job. But nigga, be at work, bro. And this lady, her name is D O U G H Joe Dash. This woman went on. She 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 do YouTube now. She went on to say. She done had 15 professional jobs. She done worked in the hospital. She done worked brown children at the schools. I'm talking about every job I can buy, think of. She started off with talking about she worked in fast food. So I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, because, you know, with me, people be, that's the thing. It's your job. If you want better, then you got to go do better. No, motherfucker, it's barely better out here. I don't give a damn what position you about get at, at these days. And this, this is the thing. When she was talking, I couldn't do nothing but relate. Every job you get nowadays, I've been telling my kids this. I've been feeling like this since I was a kid. It ain't what you know, it's who you know. Because I go into jobs and I bust my butt. I do, you tell me this, I'm going to do that. I, and I'm going to bust my tail over and go go just 
be on be on my mama told me a long time ago that's gonna get me in trouble but i would think not listen to that and just keep doing my job to the best of my ability you cannot go in there and conversate with half of the shield and just do your darn job every single day and it's gonna be a darn problem when you don't conversate with them when they ain't in your business when you ain't got they they phone them and y'all can text when y'all don't share social media pages and like each other stuff it, it be like drama in this bit when you don't go out when they offer everybody to come out to take the shots and we going downtown when you don't criminal criminalize yourself in, in that kind of environment you you get frowned upon you get talked about Even from the way you look, half of them be hundred and ten percent ugly, and then you you just trying to go come, come to work and do your job, and just cause you ugly, you. I I mean I already told you I feel like I'm ugly, but these motherfuckers I be feeling like they must even customers be saying they jealous of you. First thing I promise you, when customers say, "Girl, all of this they jealous," I be sitting there like jealous. Jealous? I be uh, I be disagreeing with the customer. Like, no, that that can't be what it is. Look at me. And I got a bunch of kids, and I struggle on the daily. Why would anybody be jealous of me? And then they sit there and talk to you. You can, oh Lord, talk to you any kind of damn way. This man with the crown, he just said something today because he was like, yo, GM them, they got a boss. They love to sit there and talk all that shit. Y'all know this man. He got that crown and he be sitting on that throne whenever he be talking. I forgot his name, but he was just like, yo, boss got a boss. And they be sitting up there acting like they are uh, the junk, but they'll get thrown away, lose their job next day. Look at your check. Who name on your check? I'm like, damn, I'm not even on my check. But you'll you are coming here and you bro, when I say I'm just bro, I'm I'm tired, bro. I'm tired of that that bullshit, bro. Yes, I would love to have my own business one day. Lord money, if I could make it my damn self, I wouldn't be in this boat. And I get the good trees too. I get the good trees and cut them down. The good ink. Since y'all can't find no damn way else to make money while here, uh, uh, create money, we keep running out of money. Hi, it's a million trees right now. I can show you right now. When you cut them all down, it, 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 it. I even said to my kids a long time ago, I was like, when we first got on food stamps, I said, that's invisible money. So why would the world run out of money when, we, when they created bank cards? This... It's an excuse to be broke. It, it's just an excuse. Oh, Y'all just don't want to do. Bruh. I'm going to just elaborate and explain what I was saying about invisible money. You can get a bank card and it have $3,000 on it. $3,000 on it. You ain't never it really got to physically pull the money out. Just like food stamps. You ain't physically pulling the money off, but the money is there. If that's how y'all got to pay us, what's wrong with that? I mean, you just can't pull the damn money out. I still love to pay my damn bills and everything with this one card. I just can't take the money off of it because we don't got enough money in the world to be pulling off money off the card. I mean, I, I, I don't understand how we don't got no money. But every time you turn around, the restaurants popping up all over here. Other businesses to take all our damn money. The bills keep going up to take our damn money. But y'all running out of money? No, nigga. We running out of money. Damn, granite? We can't, we, we can't start making gravel money? I mean, grass and dirt? Something. 
fuck is wrong with these, bro? Like Medicaid is an invisible money. It's invisible money. It's a car. You can go to the bank, to the to the doctor. It's invisible money. If you know what I mean. When I say I am tired, bro. I I had to literally stand there today, and I just did this to calm down. got a ponytail bigger than a second and you in here thinking you finna talk to me any kind of way and there's customers and stuff in here even if it were customers or not and that's one thing I, I don't give a flip about if it's customers or not because and I know you like that's your problem you don't care if it's customers or not not when you sitting there talking to me like I'm some who the hell is you talking to that's what these bosses love to embarrass you when it's a bunch of people around they don't even be knowing what the fuck they talking about. Bro, it's just because they the boss, they feel like they can just talk to you so ruthless. Let me tell y'all something. I can literally, every day video, video, I'm pretty sure you could too. Every single day, people late for work. You late, people be an hour one didn't even show up today, and he been late. I'm talking about every single day, two and three hours late. Or just don't even come. It was two today. I been asked my boss. I said, okay, so I get one day, but it's been three months. And, I'm, and this is every job. Every single time I come in, it's like, Y'all find out that we don't need them other people and we ain't going to quickly hire nobody because Kay right here, she clearly can do it all and we just going to have Kay do it. But don't think about, okay, if you got all that damn money that, that you're making now without those people being there, why Kay ain't getting no more money? I can't stand when they say stupid stuff like, we going to let you get something to eat. You can get something to eat. You, you you can take it, you can just eat it, you whatever. You, you can take your kids something. Y'all, I get off at two. I be in there to five. Now recently they, they don't they don't want me to stay no more because they don't like to do the headset. So now they trying to make sure I be out of there so I can come back to Fridays because nobody likes the headset. The managers refuse to take orders and you know why because they know how rude and disrespectful customers is but managers they like to sit back play all in the back with the boys and still old asses we be back there playing and flirting around with young boys and then you running up you you running everything in the front say for instance a rude disrespectful customer coming in you definitely ain't got time for that bullshit so you ain't even worried about customer yelling all over the place the manager want to come out and be a super saver woman that's the only time they really come out you been you you ain't been doing your job this whole darn time but you want to make it seem like you do yes ma'am i'm sorry we'll fix that for you that shit be pissing me off Cause they, I'm telling you, the way their managers get into it with customers, it ain't even funny. But I guess it's because they a manager. I already told you, I'm not making no manager. They love to throw that shit down my darn throat. Every last one of y'all managers cry and look like, y'all look like managers. Y'all look like fast food managers. You know, you look like it. You look stressed. Don't think be good as your nails, and that's because you just went and got them done. And tomorrow, you have all that dry crust all up in there because, girl, you just doing it for show. You, you, what you got? What, what? Why would you do that? Then you, how you go get it done? Then the next day, you be looking like, girl, not, not, not.
They always crying all the time. Man, I'm not being no manager. I like the tips that I get. But anyways, I'm sorry to just be talking about that. But I'm being dead serious. That do not make no sense. These be grown behind people, bro. And like with the doe lady that I was just telling y'all, doe dasher. She said in so many fields, so many different jobs that she worked. I was so happy to hear her talk about the so many different jobs. Because y'all don't be believing me. When I tell y'all, I think this is one of the views that be coming in now. It is him. I think that is him. Let me see if he can get out here. Complaining about their jobs. It ain't just no fast food worker. It's a lot of people that's just like me. Yeah, that's it. With the good lady. And y'all, he the um, UPS. I would say something. I'm scared he might come over my car and start talking to me. But he at work. Maybe he wouldn't. I was just going to say what's up with. I'm dead serious. He likes to talk a little bit. But, um. Yeah, she made so much sense. She was just like. The stuff that they ask you to do. Y'all just go watch a video. And watch that man. And then when I got off work, it was just so many other people on my feed. Like, with the same problem. I'm like, what the world? And let me tell you how bad it, it is. I don't know if y'all know McLean, but they keep going on strike. They went on strike like two years ago. Three years ago. And I thought, oh, they must think somebody care about that. They, they going to have drivers. In the morning, y'all, we didn't have no product for about three weeks. And then the managers at the store kept saying, okay, well, half of them didn't have a car. You know, nobody had a car that'll make it that far. And so we we just pretty much used just the product in the store. Until the manager was like, yeah, we just got to go and do it ourselves. So I ended up going to get half of the food. Somebody else went to go get half of the food. And now they on strike again. This year at my other job. They told us the other day they on strike. Y'all, we ran out of so much product. You know how aggravating it is to sit there. You already got to do three or four jobs. Now you got to sit on this headset and tell them every product that we got in the store and every drink that we got in the store. Then you got to stay two hours late because your other people don't don't want to come in and stuff. You just sitting there, hey, welcome to so-and-so. Um, I'm sorry, today we don't have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items. And we don't have this, that, and that, and that, and that to drink. Or, and this, that, and that, and that sauce. Do you know how aggravating that is? But you want to sit here and tell me what my job is. My, what my job, what I'm supposed to do. You supposed to make sure your stove fully stocked up. The customers always been there. Uh, y'all shouldn't even open up today, to be honest. At first, I thought, you should have never came up here. But when you go to a place, you don't necessarily think. Like when you put your gas in the car or crank your car up, you don't necessarily think when you get there, they not going to have nothing. Like, they choose a different stuff. We ain't, I'm sorry, I, I explain we don't got none of that. But you saying so much that y'all don't got, it slipped my mind. I'm guessing that's how they be feeling. I used to be mad at stuff when customers come up there and don't know what they want to order and stuff. But the, day I, the last couple of days, you can't even be mad. You just got to sit there and be like, okay, well, you know. You be like, oh, um, the driver's on strike. They ain't bring the food. Well, what's, your, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all ladies? Damn, not you want us to go walk and get the food. Those customers is heartless. They don't give a damn about the drivers. I don't care about none of that. Maybe you want their food. We stay short staff. Really, y'all. It just be me in the front. That's why I, I, I know that's why I get, well, no. I think because my per, my customer service too. But most of the time when them customers be in there and they see only one person. And I'm taking orders and I'm making food and I'm here and I'm running to the back to get this and that. It just be like tip, tip, tip. 
tip or later. Because when one tip, it be like the rest of them be looking like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave something too. My drawers stay over. My tips be in there. I just, I, I can't be bald head ass managers. Then uh, your managers keep coming in late. All y'all do is see here and talk about all them darn managers. You don't know why you got it as a manager. You know she's stealing. This, then, the third. Then as soon as they come in, y'all be talking to them. That is, that's why I know I cannot do it. I cannot be fake. And I try, I keep trying how, to learn how to do these jokes. Man. I promise I'm trying. And I just feel like they know. Okay, they will say something this then the third. Like I promise you that that incident on today, it just really made me just. Cause I don't know, I ain't been on no damn live or doing no video for real. And it's because I said, uh, I mean, they getting on my damn nerves, but I'm tired of. Getting on in, y'all acting like it's a problem for me to be getting mad and shit. You know, I don't need on here though. I do, but not for real. I said to God the other day, I mean, I was tipsy, but I said, I said, why couldn't we have been born in heaven? Okay, so we can't be born in heaven, got it. So I said, God, why could we not have been born with at least a million dollars? And then, just because I just want to know what in the world, what in the world made a, what did the, the devil and God get into? It had to be bigger than what the Bible says. He wanted to be like God. Ain't no damn way. That's the only thing they got into it about. And we up here suffering. This, no, no. All oh, these other people that suffering here and there, that don't necessarily mean I ain't going to feel like I'm suffering. And, and mentally, emotionally. Because people always say, just think about it. It's other people that's doing way worse than you. For years, I have built myself up on that. Kiki, just be thankful, just be grateful, just ooh, ooh, ooh. It, I can't make my mind keep focusing on that shit. I, I got my own damn problem, okay? Damn, huh? You ain't talking about other damn people. We talking about me. I am very grateful for everything that I do have, but baby, I need some more damn money, and I need people to leave me the hell alone. And that's the thing. Like, even with my other manager, I don't get fired because uh, no stealing. I don't get fired because I don't come to work. I don't get fired for no reasons that you might think. Only thing that I get fired for is when a manager think that they finna talk to me crisscross to make you jump, jump that kind of way. And then I got to be like, girl. And then you, cause you thinking you gon' you you gon' play a motherfucker. Let me just go ahead and let you know you you're not. You you you're not. You're not. You, you won't. You you you're not. The HR ain't about them. Because look at the camera. Y'all look at the nail cameras for everything. Look at the camera. When it comes to Speedy Gonzalez busting her ass, that's just who y'all gonna see me. When you come, when it comes to somebody just wanna come and, and be seen, then you see them. I run that shit all by myself. When they get bored and wanna come up there and bother you, like you fix one order out of eight hours I've been at work, right? Love, it's two of y'all all that swamp because up here doing y'all thing over here taking an extra long time that I'm helping y'all get y'all orders out all while running the drive through when everybody know the drive through don't stop. 
That's one thing about it, two things for sure. And that's all my cousins say, how you get them in and out? Get them in and out. And I tilt, when I get my tilts, I tilt my cook, which is a stuff that none of nobody else don't do. Bring grocery, bring food, buy food for me if I have to. Yep, let's get these customers in and out. You just want to be seen, you going to come up there and fix one. Or you bonehead, harmony head. I mean, I'm sitting here like. And then you going to have to learn to come out. I already had fixed it for you. When she screamed at me about y'all, it was wrong. And it seemed like she was so mad because she was wrong. Because she was yelling at me about the order. And I'm like, no, that's not what I'm on. That No, I'm not on that one. And she like yells about the order, y'all. And you sit up here somebody in front of customers. And that, that was the second time when she yelled at me in front of the couple. Now, this time, I didn't even say nothing. I just was like, I just pointed at the screen. And she like, oh, well, just take it over there. You ain't even apologize. You ain't even say my bad. But you cussing. And you got the other cook on the board agreeing with you. Everybody like, because you yelling all at me, disrespecting me, and you was in the wrong. You shut up. But yeah, she didn't apologize for nothing. So I go over there and get the food. Like I, I mean, finish my regular daily slaving by myself over there. She fixed the food, y'all. But after we got ready to um leave, my daughter kept calling me, y'all. I was supposed to be out four hours ago. I told y'all how they tried to play me with, trying to let me go home because they don't like that I be off because I ran into overtime quick. My daughter blowing up my phone. She's needing me to come get her from somewhere. So I'm like, okay, I can't come till I get out of work. The manager is, again, two hours late for work, y'all. You going to tell me I got to stay till somebody come, till, them, till, till, till somebody come and relieve me. So I'm like, okay, so when the manager get there, First thing I say is, okay, uh, let me get this draw counted down or whatever. She peeks around the corner. The, the manager's standing there. They both mad because they like, uh-uh, I ain't finna get in that window. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm instead of getting the food out, but after the last car, I, I don't care what neither one of them is talking about, to be honest. But I'm getting the food out. Here she go again. This the GM, the same one that was just wrong. And the GM say again, not uh uh, don't be doing that in front of my customers. At first, I, I didn't know who she was talking to because I believe I said it. Uh, who the hell is she talking to? And they looking at me like, girl, you, girl. And I'm looking like, no, now, nah, like, dead serious. Like, because who? What in the devil is you even talking about? I ain't even said nothing, but can y'all count this draw down? I'm finna get the draw counted down. Them two up here standing around here complaining about them two. I'm not finna get over there. I ain't finna get over there all. And you yell at me. And say it's stupid. And um, she was like, you being stupid. And I said, who being stupid? Now, who's stupid? You got, you, who you calling stupid? And then the manager going to hit me like, girl, is you crazy? This motherfucker just called me stupid. I don't even know who she is right now. And I mean, obviously, but you do not call me stupid. Girl, I'm not one of them damn kids back there that you be sitting here cussing out. She be cussing out them folks' kids and stuff and, and, and calling them dumb. Like, she love calling the cleaning guy, like, stupid and slow. Girl, I don't know. Oh no. It's a certain way you do stuff. But I'm I'm feeling like you were still mad because you tried to embarrass me about the wrong order and you was wrong and you still had that on your chest. And that just that I said, I said it's like you got something on your chest. 
And she calmed down while she was standing there because I couldn't stop talking. I'm like, because, baby, I didn't say nothing. That was your managers and arguing about being in the window. She like, yeah, but we, I, I, let me run the store. I've been running, I, I know how to run. She was saying this stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. When there's three of us in here and you come in and you see this only three people, you get the hell on. And you let us struggle. But when there's 10 people in here, you don't mind coming in here and doing this. And you gonna say, let you run the what? That's sweet. I, I had to bring it to everybody's attention. I'm like, do y'all find it odd that the only time she actually comes is when we don't need any kind of help at all. I guess you want to make it look, look like you're doing something wrong, damn. They don't ever have to worry about me not cleaning. That's always what they say. Oh, she'll clean. Okay, don't like it to be dirty. I don't. That's disgusting. I mean, my kids already don't know. What the hell is this girl doing? The other lady left. We got here before she did. I didn't see the other girl walk out here, but you got to go in there and be like, y'all hold on hostage and what's going on? dad's home and we need to get there so he get an eight out of them damn social security because i know he had some but y'all not oh, oh there she damn i done spoke her up now not look i'm ready for her to come out now she done came out i'm like damn hmm. my son my blood like I saw my blood. I heard the heartbeat. Shut up. Well, have to shut up. Shut, man, if you don't shut your ass up while I'm doing my video, I don't want you talking to me. And I don't want to.